Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the Python coding exercises. Join this in the middle of the playlist. I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade. And then I'm going to Python. And then we're on the section here, yin and yang of yields. And the last one, number 72, Superprize. All right, so we got to implement the missing code here. I just left it um, in a large and famous supermarket. A new major campaign was launched from now on each nth. Customer has a chance to win a prize, a brand new luxury car. However, it's not that simple. A customer wins a prize only if the total price of their purchase is divisible by D. This number is kept as a secret, so the customers don't know in advance how much they should spend on their purchases. The winner will be announced once the campaign is over. Your task is to implement a function that will determine the winners. Given the purchase of some customers over time, reach, return the one based indices of all the customers who won the prize, i.e. each nth, uh, who spend on their purchases amount of money divisible by D. All right, so let's go through an example to see exactly what they mean. So these are the purchases in this list here. And they want, so only the second uh, customers so every second customer can possibly win and they'll only win if their purchase amount was divisible by three so remember that says up here we're going to do a one based so it's going to be one so start with two here so 43 is not divisible by three so that's not a potential winner uh, and then we go to the fourth one here 465 uh, that's is that divisible by three I'm not sure I guess it is because we do output it as four and then the next possible winner is 13 uh, that's not divisible by three it's a prime number all right so each customer has a chance to win a car which makes customers two four and six potential winners like I said uh, customer number two spent 43 which is not divisible 13 is also not divisible, so the sixth character also doesn't get the prize. Customer 4 spent 465, which is divisible by 3, uh, so he is the only lucky guy. Okay. So they implemented some code already, so they had a class called prizes, and then here they're just defining super prize. Uh, they're putting in the variables uh, purchases N and D, and they're returning from that uh, the list and then calling the prizes uh, class, creating a new class object here with purchases N and D in the function. All right, so this is object-oriented programming. Um, so here we've got a couple of special classes, you know, uh, in object-oriented programming in Python. If there's two underscores before and after the name of the function, and it's a special class, this is the init or initialize function. So when the class is initialized, this code is going to run. And then inside of it, uh, you've got purchases N and D, which you're going to pass into it. And this just says uh, here, we're just initializing the variables. Uh, so they're in the self.purchases, self.n, etc. And here we're defining the special function iter, iterer. So when the list is called, it's going to run this iter iterator function. And in this function, uh, so we've got i and x. So i stands for index, and x is just a variable. So the enumerate here is going to, so in this purchases, this, this purchases list here. So what it's going to return is an i, it's going to return the index of the numbers, so it's start, gonna start with zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then the X is gonna return the value at that index. Uh, so it'll be 12, 43, 13, etc. And since right here, you can, see, where is it? Uh, sorry, uh, so we wanna do it one based indices. Since Python is zero by default, that's why we do the I plus one. So we can turn the zero to one and et cetera. And then we use the modulus operator to see if there's any remainder when it divides by n. That's how we get each nth customer. 
And then we look at, so the value of the purchase from this list, and then we do the modulus here uh, divided by D to see if it is evenly divisible by our D number. That means if this is zero, then it's evenly divisible. And we're going to yield uh, the indice for anyone where those two conditions are correct or true. So we can yield it one by one, and then it'll generate the list. All right, so if we go ahead and run that, that is correct. So let's go through another example. So if the list is empty, obviously you're not going to have any winners. Uh, this one's way too long. Let's see if there's a shorter one. No, they just keep getting longer. Uh, so let's just go through. Let's see. Eight is the only one that is correct. So remember, we're starting with index of one uh, in this case. So one, two, three, four. So this fourth one, it's not divisible by five. And then five, six, seven, eight. So this is the next one that's possible. And that is divisible by five. Uh, so that's the one possible potential winner that we have. I will just go to the next one, one, two, three, four. You can see that one's not divisible by five, and then I won't go through the rest of them, but that's the logic that this code is doing to generate the winner's list. All right, hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that, and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.